over here at Images on the Page. Yeah, it's been a while, but I figured I would come to you guys and talk about my most anticipated reads of 2019. Now, these are not any kind of new releases. Well, okay, some of them are new releases, but most of them are actually books that I bought last year, 2018, that I just hadn't read, but I'm super excited to. They were pretty big on BookTube, and I'm kind of sad it's taken me so long to read them. Um, these are also in no particular order. I'm just going to kind of talk about them as I grab them. So the first one that I'm super excited to read, if you watch my other video, will come as no surprise. It is books um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 of the Criminal Intention series. I talk about this one fairly in depth in my 2018 wrap up or my favorites of 2018, but I just, I can't recommend this enough. These are gigantically awesome books. Every character in here, and almost every character in here in some way is queer. I, they're all people of color. This is own voices. It's so well done. And I can tell you in one of the books, once they get to it, I have never felt so understood in my sexuality and since I identify as asexual that was really awesome to see and it's just the sexualities and situations and people in here are always evolving always growing and it's not always perfect and it feels very realistic to me I mean I don't know much about the court system or being a police detective so that I can't say on but like the people in and of themselves their reactions and their lives and what they're trying to do just is so good. So I'm I'm so excited for the rest of the series. For the next series, I cannot wait. I wish it did not take a month, but I understand why because these are so profoundly awesome. Now those are technically new releases. Those are the only new releases I really have on my radar, radar as of right now. The rest are, well, the last, the next four are all books that either came out last year or were, um, were pay attention last year and I bought them because I was super excited. Now, um, they're actually all fantasy, which if you've seen any of my earlier videos is actually my favorite genre, but I just, I had a really hard time getting into it the second half of last year. I just didn't have the concentration really dense, complicated fantasies that have gigantic world buildings and take a lot of focus to understand what's going on. And I just didn't have that the second half of last year. Definitely did not. And so they kind of got put on the back burner for some more contemporaries and mysteries. Mysteries, I just find some of them can definitely be just as in-depth, especially the Criminal Intention series. But because there, it's not a world outside of our own, and there's less rules and things you gotta learn. Now the first one I'm super excited about is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Um, I don't actually know much about this. <laughs> I think I heard Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes mention this, and it's kind of based off of... Nope, that's not this one. Um, but she is... She somehow is, became, is being trained to become a warrior. Um, it's based more on like Chinese, ancient Chinese instead of like ancient Europe or anything like that. So that's really cool. I'm actually usually really excited about those. The only other one that read, only other one I've read that's like that is called the Seven Brothers series by Kurt Benjamin. That is also based off of more ancient Chinese mythology and lore and history than ancient European and I absolutely love that series. So anything that's kind of outside of the more Eurocentric history for fantasy basis I'm super excited about. I just I really wanted to read this and I mean look at that cover. It is a super gorgeous cover but I just I did not have the capacity for gigantic fantasy books last year. I'm hoping I do this year because I keep looking at them and wanting to read them, but then I pick them up and I put them down. So here's for hoping 2018, 
2019 is more the year of concentration for me. Another one I'm super excited to read get to this year is The Tiger's Daughter. I also heard about this from Sam on Thoughts on Tomes. And really the only thing I know about this is that it is a queer fantasy. That's it. That's all I know. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> and it's, I don't know, I've heard so many good things about this. I'm super excited. Once again, cover is gorgeous. And so I really hope that I can get to this soon because even just holding it, I just kind of want to open it and start reading, which is a really good sign. Let's hope that that stays. Now the next two are by the same author. I did actually buy them last year and I've heard really awesome things about both of them. So the next two books I'm going to talk about are by the same author. They were pretty big. At least one of the seasons was really big. At least one of the series was really big on booktube last year. And I believe it is actually being made into a TV series, if I'm not mistaken. So the one that is possibly being made into a TV series is called The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I've just heard really awesome things with this about kind of what it does with oppression and slavery and different races of people so i'm really excited to start this but once i like i said fantasy was just not my friend last year and i have all these fantasy books i would love to read this one being one of them so hopefully oh, i'll actually get to it this year me and a friend of mine actually tried buddy reading this last year and i don't think either of us got all that far into it and that's not to say anything about the fifth season it is more to say about at least my mindset last year i just didn't have the focus so and then the other one by nk jemison is that i'm really excited for is the killing moon mostly i don't really know much about this one i haven't heard it talked about as much but the reason i'm super excited about it is the main character is supposed to be asexual and i identify as ace so i try to kind of read anything that has that representation so we will see but I just kind of hope, I mean, I already bought them, so I really hope I get to them this year because I would really love to get some things off of my physical TBR, including the ones on my Kindle, but that way I can maybe start to add more and put them into my library. But if you guys have any recommended stuff I should kind of look into for this year, anything that has queer characters, highly recommend to me. I'm... I basically read anything that has queer characters. I'm drawn more so to mysteries and fantasy, but as shown, I'm not unwilling to read contemporary or romance, graphic novel. Just let me know if there's anything you think I should be keeping my eye on. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.